Yo, YouTube, what up? I got this uh, MPK 49 recently, last week or so. And uh, obviously, like most of you guys already know, these pads, butt cheeks, big time. So, uh, you know, I took it apart. I tried what uh, most of you probably tried, you know, layers of electrical tape, duct tape. I've even got this uh, like double stick masking tape that I, I put two layers back to back, cut up pieces of them and whatnot, made it doubly thick. Pop those in there and I mean they're straight, but I still get ghost triggers sometimes. I might hit one pad and have the other pad trigger. That shit's no good. And I, I want my joints to be sensitive. These just are not sensitive at all and they're stiffer. So you know, I broke down and spent $10 against my better judgment. Not like that's a lot of money, but I spent $10 to have somebody send me some uh, a pad sensitivity upgrade. <clears throat> Found the dude on YouTube. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but it's Mr. Reason216. <laughs> anyway, he sent me uh, he sent me this. This little plastic bag with uh, these little squares inside, rectangles, whatever. You know, they are appropriate uh, sizes, it appears, for these pads or whatnot, but, and butt, there's a big butt. This shit is, uh, is ridiculous, man. Like, there's no stickiness on either side, so how these are gonna stay on the back of the pads, uh, you know, I don't know. And they, they do kind of stick a little bit to the, 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 the pad material, the plastic pad material and shit, but, like, I don't know, $10 for this? Um, honestly, what I think this is, call me crazy, but, um, I know you probably can't see this that good, but some of you guys might realize that this is polypropylene foam. It's about maybe, I don't know, a half a millimeter, three quarters of a millimeter thick. I'm sure you can't see that that good, but nonetheless, it really reminds me a lot of this shit, which is a piece of the foam that came out of my MPK 49 box, ironically. Now, granted, I'm not saying that this dude used this exact shit because quite clearly this shit's a little bit thinner. But it is the same exact shit. This polypropylene foam. And he cut up little squares of it. Mind you, which, you know, granted, they're not visible, but they're definitely not all the same size. Some are thicker than others. Some are longer than others. Wider, I mean, not thicker, but wider and longer. And, uh, you know, again, I don't, I don't want any ghost triggers and none of that. Plus, I don't want it to be a pain in the ass putting these things on to where they're not stay, they don't stay on the back side of the pad. Like, when I take this shit out and I try to put these on the back side and then I try to put that onto the pad sensors, making that shit stay? Come on, son. Come on, son. So, uh, I think I'm going to send this shit back and get my 10 bucks. You know, but um, FYI, if you're, uh, if you're trying to fix your MPK pads, and uh, you go on eBay and you're gonna buy a pad sensitivity upgrade for 15 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever. You're not cheaped out and went with the $10 dude. Maybe that's what I get. Maybe the other guy for 15 bucks or 13 bucks or whatever has got some uh, some different shit that actually has adhesive on the back so you can stick it to the fucking pad. But you know, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna take my MPK apart for like the fifth time and uh, try seeing if those fucking things will stay on the back of the pad. And if I can install them and actually get some better sensitivity. I have a feeling they'll probably work. I just think that $10 is ridiculous to pay for this bullshit. You know, I know Buddy has to cut the shits up and whatnot. But uh, I guess the part that kind of irritates me is right on his uh, eBay page, it says, I do not sell these for the money because there is not much profit to be made. So, um, you know, how you can't profit from taking two minutes to cut up... 12 or 16 squares of some fucking foam that you probably got a 30 foot roll of for 15 bucks. If that's not fucking profitable, come on. I mean, you sell 10 of these kits to 10 people, that's a Denji right there. I mean, I, I, it only took, cost me 200 bucks to buy this MPK. So, anyway, that's really about it. So, you know, just proceed with caution. If you're gonna buy some, uh, some sensitivity upgrades or enhancement upgrade for your your pads or whatever um you might not want to get them from this cat you might 
want to just get yourself some foam, cut it up yourself, maybe even some thin double stick scotch tape to get the shits to stick to the back. But uh, I'm going to venture out and I'll venture out and do that on my own. And uh, I'm going to get my 10 bucks back. You know what I'm saying? Gas is a motherfucker right now. $10, this should have rocked me out for, you know, a few days in the gas tank. So cigarettes, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Got to have that dough, man. I'm going to get mine back. So holla at your boy. One.